We're going to balance our first equation now. First thing we have to do whenever we're balancing any equation is we're going to count the number of atoms. So we're looking at just the number of Fe or iron atoms on the reactant side. We have one. We have two hydrogen atoms because it's H2. We have one sulfur atom because it's H2S. There's no subscript next to the sulfur, so there's just one there. And we have four oxygen atoms on the reactant side. On the product side, we have two iron atoms because it is Fe2. And we have two hydrogen atoms if we look at the end of our equation. We have three sulfur atoms because we have no subscript here but we are going to multiply in for our parentheses, so 1 times 3 is 3, and we have 12 oxygen atoms. So we have 4 here with our subscript, multiplying in for our parentheses, which is 3. We're going to start from the top of the equation and work our way down. So if we're looking at the irons here, we have 1 iron on the reactant side, 2 irons on the product side, so we're going to try and bring this number up to 2 so that they're equal, which means we're going to change this number to a 2. That's going to change this number as well to a 2. Now our irons are currently balanced. Our hydrogens, we have 2 on the left, 2 on the right, so we're going to leave those alone for now. We're going to move on to sulfur. I have 1 sulfur on the left on my reactant side, 3 on the right. So I'm going to need to bring this number up to 3, which means I'm going to multiply my coefficient up here by 3. That's going to change this number to a 3 and this sulfur to a 3. But we're also going to change several other atoms because this molecule is not sulfur by itself. So we have to recount our atoms in this molecule. So now that we have a coefficient of 3, we have 3 times 2 there are six hydrogen atoms. We have three times one for the sulfur. We've already done the math there. And we have three times four or 12 oxygen atoms. So we've managed to even out our sulfurs. We have put our hydrogens out of balance so we're going to go back a step and we're going to balance those. So we have six hydrogens on the reactant side and two on the product side. Two times blank equals six. Two times three equals six. So we're going to change this to a three. Now I have six hydrogens here. Oops, six hydrogens, there we go. I have two irons, six hydrogens, three sulfurs, by changing this coefficient to a 3, that already evened out my oxygens. Now I have 12 and 12. All of these numbers are the same, so this equation is balanced.